stage next. This young lady, she is a writer, a director, a producer, an actress at NBC LA. Please give it up for Pavar Snipe. Hey y'all. Shout out to my comedy squad. I love you, girl. It's been your mind that we do a lot of comedy together. Okay, so yeah, the channel's been changed. You're now watching BET Comic View. Welcome, everybody. Uh, yeah, so I work in news. I'm really lucky. I see a lot of crazy stories, as you may know. Recently, there's a story about a guy who licked a doorbell for three hours straight. He did not know the family. There was nothing involved in which they knew why he was doing it. And then, a week later, there was a separate door licker in a whole other state, completely unrelated. Crazy things going on in the news. You know, we got people lying and paying money to get the kids in college. Boo. Got Jesse Smollett lying to get more money. Boo. But you know what? I can't judge Jesse too bad because I know I've lied to the police at some point. And if you're gonna sit here and say that you never lied to the police, I think you're lying. Uh, do you know how fast you're going? Nope. Mm -hmm. Have you been drinking? Absolutely not. <laughs> but look, guys, we all lie. We lie all the time. We lie to protect ourselves. We lie to protect our, our family. We lie so we won't be embarrassed. Anybody ever in here ever been broke? Broke people, anybody? Anyone? <laughs> okay, but have you been broke, broke? Like, broke, broke, broke? <laughs> like, when I was in middle school, there were periods of time off and on. And I, look, I'm fine now, so don't off. Like, sometimes our lights would get cut off. Anybody ever had your lights cut off? You have to go to somebody's house to borrow electricity? Anyone? Oh, so y'all just had lights on all the time? All right, Jay-Z, that's right. No, but there was this one time, like, our lights were off for, like, maybe two weeks, and so I just had this little plan. I would go home with one of my girlfriends after school. I'm like, hey, girl, you want to do our homework together? And she was like, okay. So I'd go over and stay for a very long amount of time. <laughs> Like, the point where her parents were like, Pavar, Keisha gotta go to bed. Like, okay, just trying to not do my homework by candlelight. It's fine, I'm fine. It's, it doesn't hurt, it, I, I'm lying, it's still, it's still a little embarrassing. Uh, there was this one time we had this class project and everybody had to exchange phone numbers and we didn't have a phone at the time. And so my go-to lie would be, we just moved and the phone company tripping, and the guy ain't came over to cut the phone on yet. And so we were in this project, and so one by one, everybody's giving their phone number, and I'm just like, please, Jesus, don't. please don't ask me for my phone number. And of course they did. And so I gave the phone number the, the phone booth on the corner. Uh, why else do we lie? I, look, we all lie, your family lies. If you say your family never lied, they're also really good liars. I used to tell my brother that my dad found him in a phone booth. I don't know why. He used to also say he was, we were all aliens and one day we would turn him into an alien. <laughs> he may or may not have a drug problem now. It may not be my fault. I don't know. Um, my grandma. Anybody here have a shady grandma? Shady grandmas? I love my grandma. She is 98 years old. God bless her heart. And she has all of her capacity. She is... She's, but she's evil. <laughs> and she is so shady. If Shade was an Olympic sport, she would be the Flojo of Shade. <laughs> if Shade was a movie, she would be the Mill Streep of Shade. <laughs> My grandma calls me after I get to LA. Pava, you know, Grandma's man is proud of you. You know, I'm so, you're doing your thing, you're producing the news, it's so good. Don't be like Whitney Houston. <laughs> My grandmother is very demanding, so my dad is 70 and he lives on the corner from my grandma's nursing home, which is great, because he sees her every day. It's also horrible, because he sees her every day. And she's demanding, and she sends him to Macy's for bras and fashion fair. If you don't know what fashion fair is, fashion fair is makeup for old black ladies. If you wear fashion fair, you probably used to think Bojangles was hot. And so recently, she sent him to get a new wig. And so he goes to get her a new wig, and he calls me, he's like, what kind of wig should I get? I was like, I don't, I don't know, great. He gets her a new wig, 
You know what Nana says? You know what Nana says? It's too gray. <laughs> Nana's 98 years old. <laughs> Nana, where are you going? The window. You're going to the window. That's it. Uh, but <laughs> I'm learning that I am unfortunately a lot like my grandma. I'm in a new relationship and it's really good. It's really good as well. But I'm also learning uh, a relationship is like a mirror. And I'm learning that sometimes I'm a psycho. <laughs> but I mean, I'm just like my mom, so it's fine. My mom is a, the kind of demanding where we will go to a restaurant and she will sit down, not even open the menu, and just say, I would like some crispy oysters. <laughs> and the waiter will be like, man, we're a burger joint. <laughs> But do you know most of the time that waiter will find a way to bring this woman some Christy oysters? I don't understand it. My mom calls me, my mom is in Virginia. And so she calls me 8 o'clock one night and she says, um, I need you to do me a favor. What? You know Miss, you know Miss Ernstine from church? Yeah. She needs to go to her doctor in the morning. I can't take it. Can't nobody from church take her. Can you call her an Uber? <laughs> she have to be there? She has to be there at eight, so you gotta call at five. <laughs> In the morning? Yeah, can you do me a favor and do that, please? All right. So I make the appointment, and I get up at, not make the appointment, I get up at 4.55 in the morning, I get on the app, I um, send it to Miss Ernestine's house, I call my mom, and I'm like, hey mom, uh, the Uber's on the way. Oh, girl, I forgot to tell you, she got a ride. <laughs> That's my time. I'm here for night.